behind uh, Walls of Hope. It's a program that offers home makeovers for people who could use a hand with some renovations. Here's Susan Hay now with tonight's Making a Difference. Okay, what do you think? Light fixture? Walls of Hope is a group of volunteers that helps families in need who have fallen on hard times by no fault of their own. Tell us things that you dream about doing. This grassroots organization provides home interior makeovers in just two days, creating a home atmosphere that doesn't reflect their difficult circumstances. I'm a single mom. I have um, five and a half year old twin boys. My one son, Logan, has uh, cerebral palsy. Val, to me, right away was everything, all the definitions of what Walls of Hope is. She wasn't taking what she could from the system and she was trying to make it on her own. A lot of love and, and, and volunteered hours have gone into this one. The children's bedroom we moved from upstairs because the occupational therapist suggested that would make her life easier. We did the kitchen, the family room, and a laundry room. We've renovated the basement, we've renovated, the, repainted the kitchen, brought in some new furniture. And in two and a half days, you spent anywhere from fifty to 75000 no cost to the family? No, none. Absolutely none. Why did you want to create this five years ago? Um, I considered myself someone who we would now consider a Walls of Hope candidate. Um, I was, uh, went through a divorce that uh, left me in a very different state. I started painting and I worked into a very nice clientele. And that clientele allowed me not to be a victim of my circumstances. Everything that they did and everything that they chose was something that I would do myself if I could. It's amazing. You get to look towards the future and instead of not seeing a future at all. Wow. Fifty to $75,000 in renos. And they do it on a weekend. It's a lot of money. And, I mean, obviously they've helped a lot of families. How do they afford it? Well, volunteers, of course, all volunteer base, and they've helped about uh, 10 families in the last five years, and they've renovated two public spaces. Now, Walls of Hope usually spends anywhere from five to eight thousand dollars per home. The rest of the money comes from donations, fundraisers, and a fantastic volunteer base of professionals. When renovating a home, the focus is on making the space more useful, practical, functional, and safe. The spaces are finished off with new furniture, fixtures, beds, even landscaping. If you'd like to nominate a family that lives in Mississauga, Oakville, or in the Burlington area, a family that has fallen on hard times, we are truly trying to make their life turn around. You can always visit GlobalToronto.com and follow the links to Making a Difference. Val has done so well, she and her little boys, that now she is now giving back to Walls of Hope, too. We love it's Val. just unbelievable. Yeah, we need more people like that. Yes. Thanks very much. You're welcome.